gutty 5-3 win in 10 innings. Uh, just talk about getting the, the first game here at Florida State. Well, this was a, uh, a very emotional game, certainly. Um, very well played on, on both sides, um, as it was anticipated to be. You know, two uh, outstanding starters like Weaver and Kirby. Um, you know, I'm just really proud of our, our, our guys. That, that was a gut win right there, you know. Um, certainly a difficult environment. Um, you know, we had a tough... Uh, fifth inning uh, defensively, we didn't we didn't handle a bunt the right way, and and they scored three runs in that fifth inning. But our guys didn't hang their heads, and you know we just got so many clutch hits, and you know Whit Mayberry, you know uh, battled with the runners in scoring position, and certainly Nick did a great job in the ninth, a, a huge win in game one down here. Uh, a lot's been made about Derek Fisher's return to the lineup. He gets three doubles tonight, gets the game-winning double in the 10th. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about his uh, his presence there in the lineup. Well, you can see why uh, everybody thinks so much of Derek Fisher and why we think so much of him. Uh, uh, he's a very, very skilled player. Uh, not only can he, can, he, can he hit, he can really run. And, uh, you know, certainly you inject him back into the lineup. It, it, it absolutely makes a difference for us, and it, and it did tonight. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. I get, no, go ahead. How, how was Derek able to stay and get game ready so quickly for injury? Well, there wasn't a whole lot he could do, quite frankly. For the first two weeks, um, he was in a cast, and uh, when he when he got back, um, you know, we. He, w he wasn't able to swing really until about a week before the first day that he started playing. And his return was exactly five weeks uh, after his surgery, uh, one day before five weeks. And, you know, uh, he, Derek say, uh, loves the game. He understands the game. And so those, for those five weeks, he was absorbing everything he could. Uh, the week leading up to his return uh, in a practice day, we had him stand in and just watch pitches off of off pitchers. You know, and uh, just so he could start to get his timing back and not swing. And, uh, you know, last Sunday was the right time to bring him back. He would take a couple days of BP uh, prior to that, and he was ready to go. And I just felt like, you know, we had, starting last Sunday, we had seven games to play prior to going to final exams where we take a week off. And I just felt it was important for us for the stretch run to get him as many at-bats as we could going into that final exam break. So he looks great. It looks like he didn't miss a beat, really. Brian, what, uh, what did you kind of see from Kirby kind of stuff-wise? And also with Weaver, uh, you know, early on especially, he was able to work out of a lot of jams against you guys. What was he doing to kind of keep you guys off balance? Well, the game? you know, I, I, Kirby did not have his best stuff tonight. Um, he was up in the zone quite a bit. That probably has a lot to do with the weather. He looked fatigued out there. His breaking ball was up quite a bit. But, you know, he never gave in. He kept continued to make his pitches. Uh, you know, he had his good firm fastball tonight. His breaking ball was good, I felt, in the first four innings. And then he started to lose it a little bit and was up in the zone. But, you know, the key was he, he hung in there on the road when you're the Friday night guy and still gave us, you know, six strong innings and gave us a chance to win. Uh, you know, Weaver, you know, he's... Um, He's really, really good. You know, obviously he's got a good fastball, but his change, I think, is what makes him. You know, and uh, certainly you got to make a decision on, you know, what you're going to swing at against him. And, you know, I thought our guys did a good job and got some good passes. But, you know, again, he, he buckled down with runners in scoring position, made the big pitches when he needed to. And, and talk about uh, Witt's uh, sequence there, obviously in a big yeah. situation. I mean, that, uh, that was pretty big. I guess just talk about that and what, what was kind of the approach in those two uh, bats for you guys? Well, even the, you know, the seventh and eighth inning even were not easy for him, you know. And, uh, but Witt's been with us four year, f five years now. Um, he understands. He 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 battles out there, and uh, you know. Then in the ninth inning, you know, obviously made the decision to to walk the bases loaded, and and uh, felt like that was the best thing for us to do. And you know, he buckled down and made the big pitches. And then went 3-0 and came back, uh, you know, to to get the leadoff guy. So you know, Witt does a great job of mixing matches. And he's got a he's got a good arm, but you know, he's got a good breaking ball, a good slider, a good changeup, and uh, he's just a veteran guy that knows how to pitch.